October 15th, the 17th day of this series. Let's play rock, scissors real quick. October 15th, as you see, the 17th day of me recording in the series, and I'm really excited for this video because I'm doing something a little bit different. Now, bear with me. This is my first time doing it, and I, I might come back with it a couple more times, honestly, or make it... Um, make it a consistent thing if i can i really like the idea i have all my notes laid out before me we're gonna jump right into it i got some verses right there uh, we're gonna go ahead and get this done no done so all right so the first note that i took for october 15th was spiritual things that happen in the spirit room don't just go away you have to deal with such things there's repercussions for some such things there are things that might be added on to you, um, just different things that come to, um, you know, actually seeking God, reading your Bible, like such as, such as reading your Bible and praying, like suppose you wanted to get stronger at reading, get stronger in your, in your prayer, prayer walking, your prayer life. It's not just going to happen. It's not just going to come out of the sky. You have to actually be seeking him for yourself and to uh, learn how to pray, read the Bible, you know, and, and and be around others, pray for others and and such things of that matter. Um, there's just different things that come to when you when you when you have spiritual things going on. Um, now I'm not going to get into like the negative sides of things. I'm just going to hit on that, that first little note right there and just tell you there are things and effects that happen, um, when you come into the spirit, you know, and you're actually, uh, seeking things of God and, and, and exercising, uh, the things that you've been taught by God. All right. Now the second note was that. Nothing will get in the way of me growing in the process of God, breaking the chains off of my life, the things that I've been through, the the things that I have gotten past, the the obstacles, the the blockages that have been in my way and stopping me from actually seeking him. Um, nothing's going to take me back or make me look back. There's a verse in the Bible and it speaks of if you put your hand on the plow, and you look back, you're not fit to serve in the kingdom of God. I'm not going to look back on, on certain things. I'm not going back to uh, bad habits. I'm not going back to uh, the world and the ways of sin. That's not for me. I'm not going to be a dog that goes back. October 15th, the 17th day of this series. Let's play rock, scissors real quick. to know the love of the father that when it comes to people that I love, I'm edifying and encouraging and we're encouraging each other and growing with them in a relationship with God, you know, being able to sit down, talk about Jesus, talk about difficult things, talk about, you know, the, the obviously the things that we go through in life, because being a follower of Christ is not easy. You know, the world is, has uh, is trying to pull you in so many different ways the enemy is trying to distract you and pull you back into a life of sin into de disobedience and not following the will of god for your life you know i wholeheartedly seek to to encourage and to to be there for my my brothers and sisters in christ and just to be in the family and belong you know belong in the family and to and to serve serve with a purpose knowing that god is good you know this caused a slight perspective change um helping me to to stand firm you know knowing that nothing's going to move me out off of that mountain nothing's going to move me off of the foundation of christ nothing's going to stop me from following the two greatest commandments in in anything you know <laughs> all right so that would be this verse right here go oh yeah, come here. What are we talking about? All right. Matthew 22, 36, 40, New International Version. Teacher, which is the greatest commandment in the law? Jesus replied, love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. And the second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. All the law and the prophets hang on these two commandments. That's beautiful, you know, and that's that's something I hold on to. And I 
believe that no way if you are seeking God, if you are longing to be more like Christ every single day, you should have those two commandments written on your heart or at least know them, you know, Uh, we're going to move that back. All right. So that slight perspective change and just that thought caused me to think every moment of the day, I should be urged to expand and be nurtured in a relationship guided by loving the Lord with all my heart, all my mind and all my soul, every single moment and loving others every single moment. There's a there's a verse Colossians 312 and it goes, therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly love, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness and patience. And I love that verse because I genuinely carry that verse around with me every Everywhere. It helps me throughout life. It helps me in the jobs that I have. And it helps me with my brothers and my sisters and and just people in general, strangers, neighbors, um, foreigners, uh, everybody, you know, um, I just really seek to love others as God has loved me. You know, I want to see everyone in heaven. Sadly, I know that everyone's not going to make it to heaven, you know, but I, 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 I seek to love others as God has loved me because he's brought me through so many things. All right. Now, the next note that I want to hit on is I pray that the Lord protects me. Can I bring it up? Uh, I, I tell you, all you don't have to bear with me. I pray that the Lord protects me against the evil one. Um against evil desires, pride, lust of the flesh, lust of the eyes, um, temptations of life, uh, the devices that the enemy uses against me, um, and just envy and jealousy and, and a longing for things, of the world, you know, greater is in me than he is. He, of uh, uh, greater is in me than he who is in the world. You know, and I just, I, I seek to strive and resist the devil, you know, and to, actually be a man of God, one who is walking side by side with him, you know? Now, with that verse, I have this verse, and uh, Jesus speaks this. Um, He says, my prayer is not that you take them out of the world, but that you protect them from the evil one. And this goes hand in hand with that loving others. Um, I pray that I don't fall victim to lust or or temptation or just the, the, the... the lust of the eyes so that I can genuinely love others and not look at them a certain type of way or judge them a certain type of way. You know, now after that, we have this verse. First, before we get into this, I want to say, um, there's another note that I don't have here and it's that stewardship can be in every aspect of your life, um, or a lot of aspects of your life. And with that, I have, Oh, can I grab it? Oh, come here. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Stewardship is the job of supervising or taking care of something such as the organization or prop uh, or property or even the life that God has given you. <laughs> That's the way I look at it. Um, if you can't be trusted with the things that God has already given you, um, how could you be trusted with them more? And, you know, the things that God has given you, you are responsible for such things you're responsible for such things so you should t- handle them with care whether that be a relationship friendships the, uh you know just like family even you know and and the wealth or or even knowledge and and wisdom you know you don't go around just spewing knowledge at people or creating arguments just because you feel as though you know more or or throwing uh things back in a person's face because you know something that that has been given to you, you know? So, yeah, that's that. All right. We're going to move on to the next note. I was trying to capture a thought there and I just can't right now. Uh, possibly I'll throw it into another video. Um, but the next thought is just like God can use something, the, the enemy meant for evil or detriment or deception or destruction he can use for the better or the good. The enemy will try to use what is good, what was good, and undermine it and attempt to twist it or even take ownership of it. Um, this is why it's important to be discerning, to know God for yourself, to actually 
be in a relationship with him, you know, because the devil will try to attack you at, at different points and he will try to take your moments of peace, your your zone of peace, your 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 feelings of joy and, and immediately come and try to snatch them away from you, you know. So he's all he's always lurking for those who are weak and lurking for those who don't have their guard up, you know. Um, now, God is good. He is a refuge and a shield. We know this. So anything that the, the devil tries to throw your way will not prevail. Um, we know this. All right. Now, the last note that I want to hit on, and I feel like I'm going pretty smooth in this, honestly, um, is for wisdom, you should start asking, and I'm, I'm taking this for myself, start asking the question of how when it regards to situations like how to do this um, and like what to do or like how do I go about this situation? Why did you just open up right there? How do you go about this situation? How do I <clears throat> get smarter? How do I um, work into a, a place where I can be serving God wholeheartedly? How do I get closer in my relationship with God? How do I become more disciplined in, in reading the word, more disciplined in attending church, more disciplined in uh, seeing others and, and, and loving them as uh, as God has loved me, you know, and, and actually full heartedly um, trusting in, in the Lord, you know, and leaning on your on God's understanding and not your own. Um, how do you do such things? Start asking that. Start asking that. And I sort of I sort of dug in a little bit. But yeah, that is October 15th, the 17th day of me recording the series. I feel like I said that like three times, bro. Hey, but this is far. I like I really am sort of excited for this because it's it's really interesting. I really hope I'm recording. I am recording. All right, bet we're good. All right, so yeah, boom. Um, oh yeah. All right, boom. Can move that back. Um, now you already know. I'll catch you guys in the next one. This has been an interesting video, as always. You already know. Be you.